Okay, this is another Steely Dan tune, uh, Black Kyle off the Asia album. If you want to support the work I'm doing, there is a link to my subscribe star uh, in the description. Also, there's a link to a chord chart and the chord diagrams. Okay, I'm just going to play the intro, and then we'll talk about the chord changes in the groove. Three, four. <laughs> Okay, so that's where the verse starts. Okay, so the intro, two, three, four. So just A to C, and then C on the low string. Three, four. And then slide down from this A note here. So it does that twice, and then it plays this chord here. This is like a, a C6. Now on the, on the chart I have C7, uh, written on it because these two chords are like they're related to C dominant seventh. This is like a C nine. There's the five, the nine, and the flat seven, and then this is the six, the three, and the one. But they're related to this, you know, you know, this C seven. So, but I'm showing you what they are, and they are in the chord diagram as well. Okay, so uh, the so this chord, so I'm sliding that. And then I'm doing, I'm doing the same thing with the bass note. I'm grabbing this with my thumb, obviously. And then the verse starts. Okay, let me just play through the whole verse and then we'll talk about the chord changes. Three, four. the chorus starts okay so the, so basically what I'm doing is this this is all based on the C7 okay so you can play with these three fingers if you want because what you want to do is I'm gonna grab that note there that C note so these three and then so that's how it's this played three four twice. Okay, so this is an A7 augmented chord, so there's the sharp 5, that's the augmented note. 3, flat 7, and 1, that's A, okay? So, and then C over D, so, and then that's this E7 uh, sharp 9, so there's the sharp 9, flat 7, 3, 1, and then E flat major nine. So it's like an E flat major seven. Only we're adding the ninth to it. So there's the nine, the seven, the three, and the one. So that's E flat. And then we do the verse, uh, this, this, go back to the C uh, seven. doing a D over E for two measures. Okay, that's the chorus, okay? Let's play through the chorus one time here and then we'll talk about the chord changes.
okay, so uh, at the beginning, of, I'm playing like an a, a, a major seven. This is the beginning of the chorus. But I'm actually playing an A major nine. So there's the three, the nine, the seven, and the one. And then if you want to add that, the 13 at the top, that's a nice chord. Or you could play A major seven. Okay, so this is this is G. This is a G triad over A. So that's the five, the three, and the one, and then A in the bass. Then we're doing C over D, and then back to A major seven, and then so that's that's G that's G major seven. But I'm playing the 13 at the top. So there's the 13, the 3, the 7, and the 1. And then F sharp minor 7. So there's the flat 7 there. Here's the 5. And then I'm just barring across here. Playing all the strings. Okay, that part, this is E major 9. It's like an E major 7. So there's the 9, the 7, the 3, and the 1. And then E flat. 7 sharp 9, so there's the sharp 9, the flat 7, the 3, and the 1. Seems so clear that it's over. Okay, now we're going to do a D over E. There's the D over E. Okay, now we're, this is an A over C sharp. So here's the A chord. So the 5, the 3, and the 1. And then that's actually the 3 of A, so that's the 3rd in the bass. But it seems so clear. Now the other thing here is you can instead of playing this, you can drop this note, whoops, and get a ninth out of it. So you take this off and you get a ninth. And that's a nice, I like to play that. And then C sharp minor seven. Okay, we're gonna bar that. And then you play a straight E chord or or E7. I'm playing just a straight E. And then D major 7. Then get out of here, then go over to C, over D. And then it goes to E flat, E flat over F. And then, so these two chords, so if you're playing, this is a C13, right? So move this whole thing down to B flat 13. And then just move up chromatically to B13. And then you start doing these the verse. solo, I'm going to play the solo, two, three, four.
okay, so that's then it goes back into a chorus. Okay, so let's talk about the chord change. So basically, it's, it's G7. That's where the, the solo starts on G7. So here's the notes. Here's the 5, 3, flat 7, 1. And then it goes up to A7. Same, same voice in. Or you could play a, a, a G9. That works too. So here we go. There's the 3, the 9, the flat 7, and 1. And then this little this little thing here. Okay, so this is what I have written on the chart is uh, I mean it could be like uh, you could play B flat minor thirteen. Actually, I'm, I'm, I like this better. This is uh, this is more what they're, what's going on on the record. So it's uh, there's there's the thirteen, and that would be a sus the suspended note. That's the four. And then there's the flat seven, and then we're gonna put B flat in the bass. And I'm, I'm plucking these notes. And then we're gonna play, this is like a, an E minor. So, well, then we're gonna have the flat seven in the bass. So this is like an E minor over D. So, and then move this up. And then we're going to play a C7 suspended. So here's the notes. Here's the suspended note. That's the four. Here's the one, the flat seven, and the one. Okay, then it goes to D9. Okay, now for this G7 and A7, I have G7, A7, and D7, and E7 all written, but they're really, you can play ninth chords too. So we're in the second half of the of the solo, D7. D7. Does it for four bars, and then it goes to E7. Okay, so we got that, and then then it's going to be F minor 13. So that's the 13 there. That's the flat three, flat seven, one. And then we're going to play, this is a G over A. So here's the G part. That's the G part. And then here's A. So you could, so, grab that note. And then you're going to play an F7 suspended. So here's, so it's that note there. That, that would be the suspended note. That's the four. Here's the one, the flat seven, and one again. And then it, and then it's D over E. I can play okay, this is my, I'm gonna play through the chorus, and then this last chorus. I'm just gonna play through the whole thing into the outro, and then I'll explain it to you. Three. Okay, so it's basically the, the chorus is exactly the same except that uh, just when it seems so seems so clear that it's all I know that you big black cow and it and then it goes back to the beginning of the chorus and then it just does this turnaround at the end. So it's A major seven and then G over A and then C over D, you already know all these, and then back to A. And then it does that little, and that's G. Okay, you can either play, I've gotten away doing this. This is a G major seven with 13 in it. Or you could add, put the one there. You could do that as well. So, so, so like this.
Okay, that's the whole tune. Uh, I hope you got something out of that, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.